Ryan. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 56, NASDAQ up 179, SP's up 31. Gold, gold contract flat, 2047 an ounce. You got silver. Down 11 cents, $24.11 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $69.52 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note, down one tick, 111.03. The 30 year off 12 at 120.06. Now, in the note and bond market, folks, the 10 year had a huge rejection of lower price, man. It was pretty amazing. It's, it is pretty amazing, actually. Um, bottom line is that the 10 year, you know, start pulling back. It, Get down to the 110.23, and guess what? 111.03. And King Dollar. So here's some divergence here for sure. King Dollar, that's, that's why you see the market up. King Dollar's down 614 ticks, 103, 539. Euro's at 107. Yen's at 143. Uh, British Pound's at uh, 125. You can see the Yen's <laughs> giving the dollar uh, index a lot of juice. The Yen is... Uh, down 384. You talk about intense. Now, the thing that's kind of wild is that normally when the yen gets stronger like this, okay, that gold normally would take off like a rocket ship, but it didn't. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we take a look at the spy here, and, you know, bottom line is it's going, you know, uh, it's light volume here. That's the real bottom line. Now, the high that we're suspecting we're going to get tested here, you had 462, that was the ABC structure up, right? We have 459.60, I believe that's what it is. That was the high that was generated uh, last Friday. That's a high volume high. So I suspect, number one, it's going to get there. We'll see if it holds price, if it doesn't hold price, if it breaks out uh, up at that level. The Qs. And the X100. That's who's leading out here today. There's no doubt about that. You get the, the Qs. They're up right now $5.50. And you get volume behind the move. You know, the Qs are going to have volume out here today. We've already done, uh, well, not, they're going to have volume. We've done, we've done 38 million. Now you're a little bit further away from the top. But 38 million, 48, to do about 54 million out here today, probably. Notes and bonds. And if we take a look at this note and bond market, you're going to see the note and bond market after contract value. Let's see why. There we go. We take a look at the active contract. You're going to see right now, is that it? Okay, so now we're down two ticks. But you rejected low price. That's that's the real bottom line here. It's been a one-way move, man. We're at 4.13 right now, folks, okay? And just to give you uh, an idea, okay, put this up for a second. Watch this. This is pretty amazing, actually. Um, and then I'll do... One. Yeah. Let's see where this shakes out. Okay, so see this, folks? This is what's going to be wild. If I bring this back a year, the low was 3.3. Okay, now this one here has the high 4.990, but we know it went to 5.0. Now watch this, 3.3. And then if we go... If I put... I'm going to put up the, the chart that has the interest rate structure on it. You're going to see that 
that October high had 5.01 as the high, right? And then the bottom of the consolidation is 3.6. So what's cool here is that if that's where we're, my take is that's where we're going, okay? Because that, that's going to be 100% move or move. We'll see if we break down even more than that. But the bottom line right now, it looks like it wants to go there now. And I'm talking about now, too, you know, meaning next, you know, three or four or five weeks. Because that's how fast these things are moving, man. <laughs> um, you get that, and that's going to really put some juice uh, under this marketplace. Gold, we got divergence out here on gold today because you get the, the dollar's getting hit nice, and gold isn't moving, you know. And so gold is still in the building cause phase after that wild Sunday evening to Monday ride. That definitely, the shots got taken to the cleaners. Um, I don't think, I don't think bulls actually got hit that night. Um, the reason being is that uh, this was a six o'clock in the evening and the futures, you know, open on Sunday night at six o'clock. It was 6.15. It went up there. It took another three or four hours to stop making its way back. And, you know, as most market participants are really um, trading. I, I can see them trading at the 6.15 mark, too, but hey, we'll see where it shakes up. And then good old King Dollar. If we take a look at King Dollar, looks like King Dollar once again. And the jobs numbers tomorrow, and the jobs numbers are going to move this market, too. But what we have uh, in the dollar is that you got wide price spread again. This could be another large ABC structure down. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.